So, Jason, uh, yes. Mike Norvell contacted uh, some folks he knows rather well to pick up a game for 2024. Yeah, I mean, it's convenient. Florida State's scheduling a game with Memphis on September 14th of 2024. It's a, it's a one-game deal. So they now have their schedules completed for the next three seasons. Next year it'll be uh, Duquesne. Duquesne's? How, how do we pronounce it there, Mark? Well, it's a school in Pittsburgh. It's a basketball school. Duquesne. Duquesne there. Okay. It's pronounced Duquesne. I don't know what their uh, mascot is. We're going to the Dukes. I'm not sure, but that's what Florida State will open up next season. Then they, they'll play LSU in New Orleans, a game that all three of us will likely be intoxicated at, followed by uh, Louisiana and Florida to end the season. Then in 2023, it's LSU to open the season in Orlando, Southern Miss, North, North Alabama, and then at Florida. And then 2024, it's Memphis, Notre Dame, Charleston, Southern, and Florida. I like it. I like that Florida State is starting to play better non-conference games. You look at during the Jimbo Fisher era, it was a little bit lighter. They started out with Oklahoma in the first two seasons. Then there was the game with Ole Miss in 2016. But everything else was kind of a little bit a little bit of a step lower within the non-conference schedule. Two games Florida, against Oklahoma and Alabama. No, Alabama was a 2017. I apologize. That was the one-game series in Alabama. Um but Florida State is kind of starting to get back into that. Obviously, there's the home and home with Georgia, the home the home and home with LSU, the home and home with Alabama. Notre Dame is more in the fold with these games. 20, 26, we talked about this before the show. Florida State plays Alabama, Notre Dame, and Florida in the non-conference schedule. So that's a <laughs> yikes almighty. And then the ACC that season will be Clemson, Miami, and Virginia. Virginia is our other cross-divisional game that year. So that's going to be an interesting schedule. So – Hopefully things have turned around by that point. But what I like year that is that? That's 2026. That's five okay. years away. So, because even this 2024 yeah. schedule, who else in the country? Not a whole lot of teams yeah. are playing the likes of Notre Dame, Florida, and even Memphis non-conference. It's going to be good. Memphis. I mean, we you know we've talked about this on previous shows. Who we'd like to see them play? Memphis is going to be interesting because on paper, Florida State should have the talent. Hopefully, Norvell should turn this thing around. But it could also go another way. You never know. So, James, what would your scheduling strategy be if you were the AD? Um, not that. <laughs> I can say that. Um, I'm not playing Notre Dame. I'm fighting the Notre Dame having to play them all the time. Unless they're in the ACC. Like, unless they're truly in it. Because right? it does it for me. But, um, you know, obviously you have to play Florida every year. And then I'd pick, I'd pick a Memphis-type team, but I'm not putting a Notre Dame there. I'm, I'm picking Sisters of the Poor School. Like, I'm picking a homecoming game. Like, I, I'm letting it – or a preseason game to let it be known. I haven't played that really top tough team in the preseason two, for two seasons. Like, it's not any fun. It's like, it's like playing a – it's like starting the year off with a bowl game. The only way I would want to do it is if they expanded the playoffs because now it's strategic, and if everybody was doing it, which I think would make college football more exciting, if the, you know, the, like how basketball has the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Like, you don't have to necessarily do that. Like if every Power Five team scheduled essentially a bowl game the first week of the year, like that would be exciting from a fan's perspective, a money-generating standpoint. And I would understand it. But right now, there's literally no benefit that comes out of all these guys except for, you know, people trying to, like, be with having a season. You win the ACC, you're going to play – you're going to play in the college the college football playoff. You know, we ain't we far away from that. So there's no reason to do all this. Logan, who do you think for us? Who do you want to see? Obviously, we talked about it. They got the LSU series – Starting next year, then you got the Alabama series, the Georgia series. You know, who 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 would you like to see Florida State schedule at this point? A, a, I can pick a dream one that I'd like to go to, like maybe a home and home, Jason. If you can pick any home and home, and not none of this. I mean, don't get me wrong; I'm gonna love being in New Orleans, but if you could pick a home and yeah. home, who would you go? With? Uh, I like the ones that FSU has. A slated down. I wish. I mean, eventually, I would wish that they're all home and home. I'd go. I like. I would like a little USC FSU kind of situation. Um, definitely, I think USC's it's taking a little long, long while. But 
I'd like to see both programs kind of get back into their prominence and, you know, show that they're still a big dog in college football. Um, but I, I'd probably be Florida State versus uh, USC because I'd like traveling over there to the West Coast one second. I'd love traveling over there to the West Coast for a little bit and being inside the Coliseum, I think, would be really fun for a lot of FSU fans because we had kind of a chance to be on that West Coast whenever whenever uh, FSU uh, played in Pasadena. We were over there on the West Coast. But, you know, being in that Coliseum just hits differently. It did. We, we went there in 97. It was a great time. Uh, mine, mine would be Texas. Uh, we have never played Texas. That one's the one that's interesting. We've never played Texas in football. You know, we've only played Penn State in bowl games. I wouldn't mind playing Penn State in a regular season, home and home, go to Happy Valley. But Texas is one that I feel like both programs used to be relevant. Both of the programs are trying to get relevant back on the national level once again. So I think it'd be interesting to see them play. James, who would you like to see Florida State play? Um, Ohio State. Good one. Not, I mean, like, just because it's good, but, like, they trauma us right now. But Columbus mm -hmm. is, um, the horseshoe is dope. Dope, or whatever the hell we're going to call it eventually, is, is, um, is dope. I think both fans from both really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Plus, I'd love to smack talk Mark for a week. That'd be phenomenal. But I like LSU, though. <laughs> I, like, I, wish, I do wish LSU was home. Yeah. I, I know. No, no, right. That's what I was saying, James. Like, if, if I wish these, we, we got to figure out something like this because maybe, hopefully, with the new, better, you know, we got Alfred in. Uh, I forget his other name, but with this kind of new administration coming in, hopefully by then there's got to be some kind of dealio where, you know, you got a home and homes because those, those are the best. I, I, it kind of it's getting old with the neutral site games and, you know, LSU's is going to be and the Superdome, and then ours what, is going to be in Orlando, correct? Correct. I yeah. mean, that I don't – it just seems silly. But you know what? It's going to pay money, though. I mean, but still, I mean, I would think – I don't know. So the, the, Logan, Logan. the problem that Florida State has in scheduling is that you've got an automatic rivalry with Florida that has to be played. So – Everybody across the country is basically playing one difficult game. That's what the what the approach is for about 70-some percent of the country. You do have your USC's of the world that will go out and play. In addition to Notre Dame, we'll schedule in Alabama or somebody else tough. But just about everybody else is playing one difficult Power 5 out of four non-conference games and playing the cream puffs otherwise. So Florida State's in a position that they already have typically a top 10 or 15 team to play in Florida. So if they add anybody else, they've automatically got a more difficult non-conference schedule than almost every other team in the country. And, and that's why the scheduling needs to be formatted into a formula. Well, and James, James was 100% correct when he talks about the whole Notre Dame thing. How you look at the fact that Florida State played Notre Dame 2018, 2020, and then 2021, we're going to open the season with Notre Dame. So that's three times in a four-year period, Notre Dame's not even in the ACC. Why does that happen? Because Florida State Notre Dame is a big draw. It's a huge draw numbers-wise for NBC. We were pathetic last year, and the ratings for the Notre Dame-Florida State game were great for NBC. So that's why they're going to keep doing that. 